Hello everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Pathfinder Kingmaker. We're here outside the Tenebrous Depths, um, having last episode dealt with the Six Bears Tribe, and uh, level 5 of this place, as we wait for uh, some of our kingdom stuff to finish. But um, between episodes, I actually did look at a map of the 5th place, the 5th level, to see if that one door I thought was a hidden door was actually a hidden door. It wasn't. But we did miss one of the relics, not one of the quest items needed to get the true ending of this place. We got that. That was that picture we saw um, or picked up. But there was something in this level that, like the last room here that we missed, apparently I over here. I must. Or did I actually pick it up and I just didn't realize it? Huh. I don't know. It says there's supposed to be something in here. Did I pick it up and I just didn't know? Let's see. Um. That's when the giant flytrap died. Huh. Unless I'm really... Hold on. <laughs> Was it wrong? Am I wrong? Am I missing it? What's it called? So it'll be one of these time-worn things. Let's see... Oh, I do have it. I just didn't notice it was it. I think. Yeah, this is it. I thought this would be lock picks. Okay. So we got it. <laughs> I just thought we got some random lock picks. I'm there. No, okay. It's all good then. All good then. I was freaking out there for a moment. It was like, oh, the kind of perception check are we looking for here? Okay, so we're back in Firelands, which I prefer because I have mostly frost weapons. Let's see what we've got going on here. What kind of enemies? Got a trap. Okay with traps. Traps are easy XP for Octavia. She eats traps for breakfast. Greater dire bear. Two of them. Okay. I can help. We're gonna switch to cold. Cool it. Blast them. Blast them. Seventy-six damage is not enough to kill them. Okay. Oh, wow, it only got like half health. Charge them. 37 damage on the sneak attack. Charge him. Ew. Move up. Move up. Attack him. Move up. Uh oh. <laughs> Leopard is having a tough time of it, man. All right, we need to make sure they die. Cool off. Good. Yeah, leopard. Um, this is for you. Isn't a tank. In case you were wondering. Tear them apart. Neither is knock knock. Ooh. Which knight? Oh, he's a better tank than the others. Why is he fatigued? Twenty-five second fatigue. Is something they have on him. 
Hmm. I got a chest here. More healing potions, okay. Not bad, I'll take healing potions. There are many things I would take healing potions over. Many things. I do what I must. This is a dark This is a dark level. Hello. Anybody home? A couple things, okay. Please do tell. Taste my food. Attack these guys shouldn't have as much health as the bears, I'd imagine. But they are probably more dangerous. They're quicker. Down better ones. Well, maybe they have as much health. I don't know. A little less, it looks like. Yeah, just, just get over there. Although now you just blocked my path. Ah, that was stupid of me. Don't hold back. That was stupid of me. Attack him. Nice damage. Move in. Of course he gets to go. Oh, nice. He was scared, I guess. Yeah, see, those things are just good damage there. This will hurt. Bad damage there. No, I forgot to do the thing. We were good. Forgot to do the thing, but we okay. We okay. And I shall answer. Try and heal me up. Try and give Leopard one too. All right. Uh, we need to loot these guys for the skins. And anything else in here? This looks like a door. Ooh, shiny thing. Shiny thing indeed. I'm there. It was really dark in here. And here we get gloves. Death from afar. Ooh. These gloves grant its wearer plus four bonus to ranged attacks. To ranged attacks. Does... Does this count as a ranged attack? We could certainly try it. Her AC goes down. Fit me at all. Hmm? Oh, it goes in. Oh. Oh. I think it'd be better for you then. Well, I do think you have a harder time hitting than she does. Although I do think her hits are probably more important. Maybe. I guess it depends. Still, plus four on range attacks. Yeah, we'll take it. Really, Ekendayo would probably be the one I'd want it to have want to have it the most, but he's currently not in the party. Okay, we got a door here, and I think we got a Is this a door? No. Okay, we just got the one door then. Let's see what we've got in here. Due time. Is anybody home? Surely there's something in here. There's something here. Disarm the trap. I did as you asked. Not that's not even a hidden door. Are they no enemies? You should take a look. Take that stuff. I'm off. Huh. I am surprised. All right, we've been in that room there. Okay. Makes my job easier. I did as you asked. And here we have braces of armor plus two. That's weak sauce. Super weak. I do what I must. 
Wild Hunt Archer. Ooh. I'm glad you I think I'm gonna go for the archer first. Cool it. Yeah. I think that's the play. Aha, a test of my abilities. That was not the play. Why is everybody else stunned? Oh no. Oh man, this wild gaze thing is bad. What was that? Okay. That's not good. This is going to hurt. Okay. You can't stop me. This is bad. <laughs> Okay, switch to the Earth Blast. Burn. There you go, there's some damage. Dude. This guy's insane. Okay, this is actually not good. Believe it or not, this is bad. I don't know when I last saved. Dude, this is annoying. What the fuck is the shit? He literally is just killing all of us. Like, what the fuck is that? I'm completely baffled. And really annoyed that I have to do that entire level again. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I am I'm shook. I am shook right now. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to fully buff against him. Interesting. All right, let's get through this stuff. I might turn turn base off. I did as you asked. Yeah, just so we can get through it quicker. It's nothing too like insanely dangerous, I don't think. I know these things hit hard, but I think we'll be fine. I am ready. Taste my fury. I think we'll be fine. In fact, that went even better. <laughs> Alright, there's something back here. Grab you. And then we go over here. Open that up. Oh, wasn't there like a separate path? Yeah, we never went down this way. I have to go down there too. Once we get done with this. All right, same thing. Taking so long. So wild hunt archer, yeah, he kicked my ass. And then our leader charged forward. Oh no, we missed. This 
won't kill me. Protect me, please. We are getting. This is a. What are you doing, Leopard? Just get in the fucking fight. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Like, just stop <laughs> moving and do what I'm asking you to do. Ah, uh, well. Okay, so it didn't go any better. In fact, that's actually a lot worse. Two people on death's door already. And her with a lot of burn. Oh, boy. That's my own fault, though. I got a little arrogant. Alright, well, let's go get this uh, death from afar item. And after those two misses on her, I'm, th I'm thinking I'm going to give to her instead. Yeah, I mean, she does more damage, so I think it is more important that it gets used by her. If by anybody. Alright, let's go get this uh, other chest in here. I think maybe we'll explore down this path first before we go and deal with that wild hunt dude. Alright, don't forget there is a trap right here. I see something. So we'll get that and then Come we come and get this. I did as you asked. And then I want to go back down this way. Let's see what's down in this hole. Maybe we'll go outside and rest, too, if we have to. Oh, it's just a dead end. <laughs> Sorry about that. I clicked off the screen again. I really need to turn off the borderless full screen. That would save me a lot of headaches in this scenario. But it is convenient <laughs> when I'm playing on my own. You should take a look. Oh. Grab that too. All right, save it. And um, I guess we'll buff. I wrote it like I saw it. Do a little I buffing. Let you down. Um, b -b 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 don't really know what I want to buff. Maybe her blade would be good. Do that. Maybe do this on knock knock. Make him medium size. Probably not a bad idea. Um, give this to Amiri. I think she could still benefit from that. And then maybe a haste. Okay, save it. We're not like incredibly buffed, but it's time to act. We actually don't have a whole lot of buffs. I guess Lindsay does, but. She's not very good with armor on, and I'm too lazy to take it off. By the way, I'm gonna end up dying here. Okay, turn this on. Here we go. Cool it. I'm curious to see if I can see in the calculations of this if uh, death from afar is affecting it. I used the same thing. Oh no, I didn't. Had I switched to cold? I might have switched to cold. Okay. You attack him. Good damage. Go ahead and do this. Knock, knock. Get in there. I'm stunned or something, so. It is what it is. Uh, do a magic missile on him. Nice. Thank you, knock knock. And that guy, that guy got messed up. You do that on him. I was. Oh, it was only 13. I thought it was 23 damage. I was going to say, it's pretty good. Still stunned, though. Ow. Back up, Kanira. 
and then blast. Taste my fury. Tasting fury. Serves you right. Good crit, good crit. Come here, Bax. Not that stab you. I'll survive. I always survive. Do you? He's going to hurt. He's almost dead. This is for you. Whew. Well, that was tough. We got like a thousand experience for him, though, didn't we? I have to go way up here. Uh, yeah, a thousand experience. Man. And he just had a composite longbow. Jesus. <laughs> Imagine if he had actually good weapons. That would be scary. I'm glad you called. And our healer's gone. So that's great. Um, we have nobody with good religion, so it's probably going to fail. My lucky day. Yeah. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Anything else around here? Alright, let's go to the store. Hopefully you don't have any more of those guys. Watch, well, there be like three of them in this room. Red Cap Savage. And looks like it's it. Okay. I am ready. All right. Fire. Burn. Let's see how you do. 38 damage. That's max, too. Charge him. This will hurt. <sighs> That's great, isn't it? Isn't that great? Don't you guys just love it? Almost as great as that. I'll fight if I have to. Which knife to use? Hey. Who thank God. You should have run. That would have been really bad if he hit that, to be honest. Any last wishes? Go ahead and move up. Do one of these. I thought that might be the case. Fire. Come on, knock, knock. Is he immune to sneak attacks? What the hell? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Vials of the Fallen Alchemist. Is this the quest item? A portable alchemist's laboratory. The name of the owner is engraved on a copper plate. Smaragda Ferdu. The contents of the vials has long evaporated, but some labels are still legible and rather long. Antidote to Aconite Root. Though they finally seem to have run out of it. Antidote to Black Lotus Extract. Yesterday, they tried to put some in my bowl. Where could they have gotten it from? Antidote to Barbadzu Mucus Concentrate. Praise Desna that Barbadzu do not live here. But Leafella has become so enraged that I wouldn't be surprised if she turns into one of them herself. A concentrated one. Add three drops to water from any water source. If someone else brought the water, then nine drops and still don't drink it. Protection from spells. I don't know what Tioko actually meant to cast on me. A cure from insanity? Yeah, right. I'm the only one sane left in this party. In any case, she won't be getting another chance. Smelling salts for Manish. He's so pale as if he's about to faint. I wonder what has frightened him so much. Potion of Numbness. If Rubkin doesn't shut up about his treasures, I'll dump this in his flask. And Arsenic. 
I'll drink it when I've finally had enough of these fools and all the ridiculous attempts to poison me. Nice. Collect. Collect. So we are one person down here now, so... In due time. We gotta keep that in mind. Surely we only have, like, one room left, maybe? We'll see what's in here. If we have to go back and rest to get her back, then so be it, but... Okay, we got a red cap. Please do tell. Let's go with the Earth Blast. I know you're less likely to hit with that, but... And save it. And save it. In fact, we should probably not take any chances here. Stop. Freaking hell. Be careful wherever you click in this game. <laughs> Alright. Fire. This could be a really big room with multiple people in it, so we need to be careful. Good damage, though. 65. Oh, is it? They were stacked on top of each other? How weird. Okay. Lindsay, move in. I'm gonna get in there. You, can you charge all the way back? Nah. Nah. Alright. Magic missile him. Alright, Kinira. Uh, we want to do that and that now. Against him. Taste my fury. Good damage. Knock, knock. Let him have it. Nice. Nice. That's what I'm talking about, my man. I didn't see you. Hey, now. You watch where you're going, buddy. Good damage. Oh, I didn't see you either. Oh, goodness. Is unpleasant. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. Uh, kill the one that's left over here. And everybody else can turn their attention back over here. Come here, back. Not that stab you. This is where I step in. Ooh, good, good dodge. You should have run! Whew. You can't stop me. Good damage. Knock knock. Which knife? Good. Kill this guy too. Oh, I can't reach. Damn it. Serves you right. Good crit though. Strike. Good. You. This area has proven a little bit more tough than I would have liked it to be. But I think we're doing alright. Kind of. I guess as long as we keep can keep going. There's the floor exit. If you dare. What do we got in here? A corrosive dwarven war axe. Okay, okay. And eh. Eh. All right, let's go down, and then we can leave. I'm there. So, so far we've gotten all the items we need. We've got two more floors of this stage. Um, they haven't been too bad. That that wild hunt archer was really the only problem. I know we lost a Miri, but that's that's mostly just because of the way I'm playing. I'm not. Not playing super well. That's okay. All right, let's go sell. Rest. And then I want to check how much time we have on our uh, kingdom events. Because it was what, like a day to get out here. I do what and then we I rested. 
and it was probably like half a day to get to the barbarians and back. And I think we rested again. I think most of the rest in this place is about a a day long thing. Another 5,000 gold though, that's nice. Let's rest. I know, it was only eight hours that time. I could have sworn one of the times it... Oh shit, that's right, she doesn't come back from a rest. Do you have scrolls? You have a wand of heroism, which we did buy once. I think that's probably where we got the one we currently have, huh? Do you have scrolls, buddy? Of raised dead? I hate to have to spend my money on it, but I mean, we gotta bring her back eventually. I mean, if you don't, then. I wonder if haste is good. How many charges? 17? You know, I mean, for 3,800, that's not bad. I'm gonna get that. Okay, well, we have to go back. Shit. We don't have a. Yeah. I mean, we don't have any. I don't have any on me, do I? Yeah, it's not something they really. They don't really hand them out in this game very much, do they? Yeah, no. And I think the only one who would have been able to cast it, like from their spell list, is Amiri. She's the only divine caster I think I have. Okay, well. I don't know why you guys don't sell raised dead scrolls here. That seems kind of like an oversight on your part. Am I sure? Am I sure you didn't have it? You have no raised dead scrolls? Nothing, huh? That is sad. No wonder everybody fails at this. Okay, well. I guess we're going back. I mean, technically we still have Leopard, so. <laughs> we still have a six-man party. But yeah. Okay. How much time do we have left on these things? Because it's a day to get back around about. Oh, we still have like six days. Maybe I'll go, maybe we'll go down to uh, the Cayman to get the rest of the things we need. Day eight hours, let's get going. Get going or get gabbing. Pretty sure it's the other way around. Okay. Think? Yeah, we can rest here. Once we uh revive our girl. It's unfortunate that it costs so much to revive her, but it is what it is. Alright, Arsinoe, where are you? I guess we can talk to Amiri too, right? Well, we gotta revive her first, but yes, we can. Seventy two hundred, I thought it was only six thousand. And girl, you're bleeding me dry. Should probably sell some of these things. That's rough. Oh, wait. All right, let's go down to the tavern and talk to her about her tribe. Where is it? It's up here. Oh, wait, the sweet teeth are here too. Let's double check to make sure they don't have anything. That is still the thing, right? Yeah. While I'm here, I might as well check. 
Nope. Okay. Huh. I don't know what to do about that one. Mm, Amiri. Hey, Chief. Amiri gives you a broad grin. What's on your mind? Why did your tribe want you dead? <laughs> what a cheery topic, huh? Isn't that clear? A woman can't be a warrior. If she's a shitty warrior, they may keep her for just jokes. Give her a funny nickname like the Soft Chieftain. But what if she's good? Best the tribe has. Then the other tribes are laughing. That's why they, you know. But it's a taboo to spill Kin's blood. So they had to do it without doing it. Feed me to giants. What a plan. But I never afraid to get my hands red. I spit on them in their traditions. I'm a walking taboo myself. Why did the ghost that... Why did that ghost call you a thief? The hell should I know? It's a ghost. Who could tell what it's talking about? After a moment of silence, Mary continues. Maybe because of the sword? I took it from a giant and... The ghost is a giant. Do I suppose to do I suppose to guess he's he likes this piece of steel so much he comes back from the dead for it? It seems you and Nylak are close, or were. You don't know the half of it. Only she and the whole damn tribe could understand me. She's not a warrior like me, but her spirit is strong. And she's smart. Smarter than any chieftains are ever. <laughs> Alright. Thanks for talking to me. Alright, let's rest. Ah, I can't do it here. I do. To the throne room, then. Adventures can wait. And rest. Okay. Let's head back out on the Grand Adventure. Yeah, I think we'll take a break from the depths. Um, do I want to take Amiri with me still? Let's try to take somebody else with me. I haven't had Tristian with me much. Let's take him. Yeah. Plus, that'll uh, cover my healing needs as well. Which is nice, having a heal bot. Alright, so we've got to go here, 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 here. Oh my god, there's a lot of things. Oh, this is outside my region. Okay, never mind. I guess we'll go here first. Nine hours. Off we go. So this is economy plus three. Damn. That's a good one. That is a deposit of precious gems hidden in a small basin. Cool. All right. Let's go check out this, this uh, bold stones. A rocky river bank with almost no vegetation except for a few bushes. When the little Selen River floods... The bank disappears beneath the water, preventing any trees from taking root here. Oh, and this is the Little Selen River. Okay. Interesting that this is also a Selen River. I would love to know, like, the, the reason why there's so many Selen Rivers. Like, it doesn't look like it's connected to them unless it leads here. I mean, this is called the Shrike River down here. So maybe the Little Selen River keeps going. Isn't this the Shrike River? Okay, so the Shrike River flows here into here, and maybe it meets up with the Southern River down below somewhere. That's my guess. Very neat. Runoff Creek. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Let's move in. Whenever I, um... I DM for my tabletop group. 
which I've not done in many years at this point. One of my favorite parts was always to create like geography maps and stuff. To the point where I sometimes do that over the quality of the actual game. Oh well. Okay, Tristan, you should not be in the front, my man. I appreciate it, but I guess we'll put knock knock in the front. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Not a very uh, beefy group we got, so we need to be a little mindful of that. And actually, um, it should be more like this. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go north first. We got Torpor the Great Nightmare. Oh, this is probably all that's here. I'm there. Fuck. Oh, wow. That was bad. I would probably want to use Earth. This is going to hurt. Okay. Don't hold back. Wow. Uh huh. Do you have any resist protection from energy? Fire. That might help a little bit. Not not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Ooh, good thing we did that, huh? Stone attack. Damn, I wish I had your sister out. This will hurt. But I feel like that's. Decent damage there. What else can we do? Cast heroism on them. Um. Bless. Good job, knock knock. Good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. Flames take you. That was better. You should have run. That could have been better. Keep using those magic missiles. Just to chip away at it. Can you get around the knock knock and cast it on him too? Damn it. Go ahead and pray. Overcome spell resistance, so is it good? It's got the prayer effect. Come here, Bax. Not that There we go. Well, hopefully, it didn't have any loot. <laughs> and that was for the flaming glaive plus two. And some full plate armor. Is that all that's out here? In due time. What's that? Uh, nothing. It looks like that might be everything that was out here. I'm off. Yep, all that for a flaming glaive, huh? Okay, well. It's a flaming glaive plus two, so it's probably pretty expensive. Yeah, 4,600. I'll fund a building or two. We're probably just a building, actually. And another zone completed. Which I'm very happy about. Okay, so from here, we're going to go down to this place. And here we've got what? I'll just go there. 
Weeping willows bathe their branches in this lazy river covered with wa water lilies. Legend has it that this place is home to a beautiful nymph who favors poets and artists in search of inspiration. Culture plus two. Claim. All right. We'll go stop at our here, our place here. Bratislav Hold. There's someone on the road, huh? Who could it be? Who could it be? Hello? You look familiar. Priest of Lamashtu. Several figures clad in dark clothes stand before you. The darkness hides their bodies, and their hoods drape their faces in shadow. Baron Agranak. No fear, for your time has come. Who are you? Great mother, ancestress of mothers, Lamash to herself called upon us to track you down and deal with you for deal you, with you the way you deserve. Your deeds which opened the new open new hearts to Lamash to didn't go no, unnoticed. You trembled and stepped back before the image of great mother, having her having left her children unharmed. The goddess the goddess graces those who fear her with wrath, fear her wrath, and stays their hand from her progeny. I'm sorry, are you, are you to attack me or not? <laughs> the goddess graces those who fear her wrath and stays their hand from her progeny. Not only did you set the priestess of Lamash to free, you gave her an esteemed position in your court. You rely on her vice and wisdom. Well, actually, I haven't really talked to her, but yeah, sure. A truly magnificent achievement for a venerated servant of the Great Mother. Yeah, I guess. Your mercy for children of the Mashtu and your protection of those who bow before Great Mother must be rewarded. It really changed your... You scared me there. The goddess herself revealed her will to us through the nightmares. We must give glory to the Baron who honors the cult of the Mashtu and grant him the blessing of the goddess. The Mashtu is called the Mother of Monsters and Mistress of Insanity for a reason. Her blessing can be far more terrible than any curse. Are you ready to accept the gift of the Mashtu? In fact, I don't care much about your sta your strange traditions, but if you insist, I'm ready to take the blessing of the great goddess. I reject the gift of the Mashtu. I don't want this filth to touch me. You offend me by your su by suggesting I would take a gift from an evil goddess, death to cultists. I will eradicate your vile cult and all that stands against what is righteous and holy. I'll give the gratitude, give my gratitude to Lamashtu, along with your worthless lives. No chaotic neutral path, huh? I think, yeah, I think he's going to go with number one. Bow before Great Mother and accept her protection. The cultist raises his head, his hands, and begins an incantation. As the somber ch chanting continues, the darkness gathers around you, thick and wet. It sticks to your clothes, your hands, and clo- your hands and clots your hair and face. The fluid gathers on your head like a crown, then flows almost molasses-like down your cheeks and your forehead, then seeps into the corner of your eyes, eagerly, hungrily. As it touches your eyes, pain courses through you, and your vision becomes black, then a flickering of grays and whites, like a thousand tiny insects were make, making knife cuts across your vision. Stepping back and rubbing your eyes frantically, you open them and realize now you can see in the darkness, almost as if it were day. The pain in your eyes subsides, leaving only slight tingling behind your eyes. I have dark vision now? I think half orcs already get that, don't, don't they? You need to turn that off. And Lindsay was called for. All right, what did I get? I'm always ready. Um, Lamashtu's boon. The character's eyes are filled with primordial bloodlust and react to even the smallest glimpse of movement. The character gets plus two bonus on perception and persuasion when used to intimidate, skill checks, and gains plus one AC bonus against animals and magical beasts. Hell yeah! Thank you, Lamashtu. See, Tristan, they're not so bad. Don't be so, uh, close-minded, my man. 
Oh. I know this place. Where they use the same map. If you dare. May we have a moment of respite? Not yet. We're gonna get to town first. <sighs> Adventures can wait. Alright. Let's enter Bredislav Hold. Hope I'm saying <laughs> your name correctly. I know I'm not saying all of it, but I think I'm saying that part correct. Or at least close. Maybe close enough to pass. Maybe Bredislav. Anyway. Hello! Var Varask the Wild Fist. An elderly half-orc looks at you without any friendliness. His clothes are covered with spots, and he looks exhausted and sickly. What are you looking at? Can't you see Master Varask is not well? On my last legs, go along, leave me to my unhappy fate. Despite the cantankerous tone, there is certain confidence in the half-orc's voice. Especially in how proudly he spoke the word master. What's your name? Varask. Varask. Varask the Wild Fist, they call me. I was once an armorer and weapon maker. I'm more of a corpse than a master now. Some evil people took everything from me. My family, my house, my craft. Even took my tools. Everything. What happened? What happened? It was a calamity. I was going about my business and then I fell ill. Cut down by a fever. I'd been burning up for three weeks. I thought I was going to die more than once. A local merchant saved me. A kind soul, damn him. He saved me, but not for free. Took everything I had as payment. Even my precious work tools. The last of my treasures. I'm useless like this. What good am I to anyone? But if I got my tools back, I'd be quite alright. I used to make such weapons and armor. They sold faster than I could make them. But without my tools, I'm useless. If you tried to use a regular hammer to forge like I do, you'd just ruin a good thing. I'd bend the tongs and wouldn't make anything worth putting my name to. That trickster got everything I need. That fork pierces you with his angry eyes. Listen, I can tell you got money. Maybe you need an armorer? If you'll help me, I'll serve you. I'll make formidable, formidable weapons for you. Ones that just beg for enemy blood. But first, I need my tools back. Alright, I won't distract you from your woes. That fork harumphs brashly in response, but his eyes seem disappointed. Well, I mean, I couldn't accept it. Oh, I completed the task? Weapons and tools must be purchased from the vendor and returned to Varask. What vendor? This vendor? Yeah, that's cheap. Here you go, buddy. That was nothing. Like a couple pennies. Here are your tools. The half-orc touches the tools tenderly, as if he can't believe his eyes, and then clutches them as tight as he can. Can I have them back? Really? Thank you so much. Well, now I'll be all right. I'll have food on the table. I'll get rid of this damn fever and do what I promised my children. And I'll keep my promise. Give me a place to set up a shop, and I'll work hard to repay you. Awesome. That was 600 XP too. Nice. We're getting dangerously close to level 11. Dangerously close. I'm there. All right, so we probably need to stop by the other uh, Lala Cthulhu's town too. To um, see if they've got a uh, a crafter. Hello, Nazriel. A stunning elven lady turns to you. Her hair is immaculate and her eyes are deep water. Her beauty is like a bird of prey. She is also heavily armed. As she sees you, her superior air fades, leaving a charming smile on her face. How fortunate. Your grace, allow me to introduce myself. I am Nazriel, the weaponsmith. I can craft the deadliest weapons mortals can make. I'd like to take the opportunity to pay my respects. As soon as I found out you were here, I dispatched one of my apprentices, but of course, the bonehead failed his mission. Would you like to hear an offer that would be to our mutual benefit? Who are you? An artist, one of a kind. I create weapons. Not just pointy iron sticks, but real weapons. Nazriel raises her eyebrows meaningfully. Alas, not every domain appreciates high quality and expensive blades. I hope you'll be a generous patron 
and an appreciative connoisseur. I take no interest in you or your weapons. I need to think. What do you have to offer? I hope to start serving you in exchange for your protection. You see, my creations are not to everyone's liking. In the land where I came from, demand for artful blade is low. Artful blades is low. The heavier and cheaper ones are better for peasants. I had to swallow my pride and do such work merely to survive. I know that serving you will allow me to earn true recognition. I'm offering you a contract. You will provide me a workplace and all the necessary resources, and I shall fill your arsenal with perfect instruments of death. More, I will craft for you personally an amazing and deadly weapon, for which there is no equal. I have long been looking for a warrior worthy of, my, of this masterpiece. All you need to do is sign the contract and place your first order. The elven woman shows you a leather case with a papered contract. You have a deal? I agree to make a deal with you. Nazriel's eyes shine with excitement. She hands you a pen and paper. Thank you. Sign here, please, and here. Done. All right. No one can touch a court blacksmith. I will order my apprentices to pack up my materials and take them to the new, sh to the new workshop, which you will kindly provide me with. As soon as I'm settled, I'll send one of my people to deliver you your order. Okay. Patronage. We can cross this off our list. All right. I didn't even know that was on my list, to be honest. Anything else around here? Got my house here. Okay. Let's go ahead and rest. Pretty sure these are safe places to rest, too, right? All right. Let's head out. I do what I must. That was a productive visit to that town. <laughs> All right. So before we end the episode, I'd like to get these two things done and maybe get back to the capital. Let's go ahead and head over to the refugee camp. Oh, we haven't explored it yet. Three hours to get there. And scientists and inventors who failed to get along with the authorities can often be found among refugees from Galt. It's only going to be plus one community, but I'll take it still. Five hours to get up there. Kingdom stuff. Gotta love kingdom stuff. Regent demands your attention. Oh, did we get a level up? Yep, looks like it. Nice. Very nice. What do we got here? The iron mine. This large deposit of iron ore was discovered by artisanal miners several years ago. Claim. Alright, back home. Claimed all the land, all the things in the Camelins. Gonna avoid you. Damn it. I just want to go home. And I guess next episode we go back to the depths. There's not really much else we can do. Everybody attack them. There we go. Nice and easy. That's what we like. I think a couple hundred XP too, probably. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, we're about... Oh, we're still about 10,000 experience away from level 11, but... That's only, what, 10 more of those wild hunt archers. May we have a moment of respite? Yes, we are home, so you can sleep all you want now. Octavia. Octavia looks embarrassed. I've come with a request. Could you find a diplomat to handle negotiations and politics? I lack the stamina to lead complicated discussions. 
And I don't have time for our all uh, at all for politics. Your subjects grow in number and their problems multiply. It seems almost everyone demands attention. The girl smiles timidly. Speaking of their problems, I keep hearing about how difficult it is for your subjects outside the barony, especially in Brevoy, these past few weeks. Their merchants overcharge your, our peasants or use their connections to force our people into a disadvantageous agreement. Why not build a consulate there? I'm sure your subjects will appreciate you taking care of them, even when they are traveling outside the barony. I like this idea. Let's build a consulate in Brevoy. Plus five to relations. We can do without a consulate in Brevoy. Sure, let's do it. Wonderful. I'm glad that we'll be taking care of your subjects even when they are traveling outside the country. Nice. Plus five to relations. That's good. And we can get a diplomat. So this will be the third of our secondary um things. Which is great. And who's going to be our diplomat? She's our curator. Curator. So I guess it's Valerie. I don't know how I feel about that, but sure. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it looks like we're only missing one. And that's the mage, I think. Court mage. Hmm. Okay. Projects. That's to increase her rank. Just to be sure, you're not... Yeah, it's the court mage that has to do those, I think. Okay. Well, we got three days left on these. It'll probably be two days by the time we get done with our sleep. So we might do that stuff at the beginning of next episode before we go to the depths. Do some more kingdom management. Yep. Uh, how much time do we have before we end the episode? We have... We can cross this task off our list. Good. About to do that. But... 125 days still until the curse. So we still got plenty of time. Oh, hi. It appears that not all of your neighbors know that lawful order comes has come to the Stolen Lands. Valerie frowns severely. Over many years, they have grown accustomed to these territories belonging to monsters and bandits. And have learned to behave accordingly. I've heard rumors that hunters from Patax cross the border into the barony, searching for game. They cross state borders as easily as wading across a stream. I don't want to sit idly and watch, as, their pe as the peasantry of a foreign kingdom mocks our laws. Please, enforce control over the barony's borders. It will be an important move for anyone who doesn't yet take your rule seriously. Let's just look the other way. They're only hunters. Alright, we will immediately increase border control. We must put an end to such incursions immediately. E. These are all kind of bad. <laughs> I guess... I mean, you're supposed to be building relations, but... Eh, sure. You say it's best. Valerie nods. I will see to it that our soldiers take up the studious po as soon as possible. Yeah, I mean, she needs relations, right? That's her thing. Relations up by one. What are our current relations? 31, so they're not bad. Stability needs to upgrade too. Yeah. We're doing pretty good on this stuff. In fact, we could do that now, but... I'll wait a couple... Well, actually, do we need to? Well, we might as well see if it, you know, see how these come back. Alright, we're going to end the episode there. In the next one, like I said, we're going to take care of some kingdom business, and then we'll probably stop by the North Narmarch town before we go back to the depths. And we'll probably spend the rest of my time there until we either get to the end of that or the curse starts. Yep. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.